The Go Higher podcast is provided by The High Program at Wayne State University. The High Program, helping individuals go higher. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Go Higher podcast, where we take on the tough and relevant subjects in everyone's day-to-day lives and provide insight on how to respond, resolve, and re-inspire yourself and those around you. This episode will cover a couple of tips that should make long distance easier and lead to a more fulfilling and enjoyable relationship. When it comes to having a long distance relationship in college, it is key to make sure you guys are on the same page. Sometimes when you're away from each other for a long time, things tend to get lost in translation. In order to make your long distance relationship last, communication is necessary. I know how difficult it is to want to tell someone a funny thing that happened to you, but when you start telling the story, you realize that it was more of a had-to-be-there moment. This can cause strain on the relationship when you begin to realize that trying to keep someone informed on the mundane day-to-day things in your life is hard when they're not there living your life with you. However, a lot of couples are able to keep long-distance relationship going, and it doesn't have to be a death sentence for your relationship. Look at Penelope and Odysseus, for example. He was gone 20 years, and when he got home, they were still together. So, if that doesn't give you hope, I don't know what will. Now, here are a couple of tips on how to make your long-distance relationship last. 1. Set ground rules. Setting ground rules for your relationship before leaving for college will help manage expectations. A few examples of these are, how often will you visit each other? How often will you guys call each other? How will you pay for these visits to see each other? 2. Prioritize schoolwork. Going to college is something that is both very expensive and time-consuming. For this reason, it is very important that you should prioritize your schoolwork. This will allow you to be completely focused on your significant other. 3. Make use of video chat. The invention of technology has helped make long-distance relationship more feasible. Video chat apps such as Zoom and FaceTime are excellent examples of this. They allow you to feel closer to your partner and reduce the distance. You can also use video chatting to do long-distance dates, such as studying together and eating dinner together. Seriously, video chat has made long-distance relationship so much easier. Back in the day, when all the guys were at war, they didn't have FaceTime. They had to send letters. And I do think that sending letters is very romantic. So, don't be shy. Write your significant other a love letter and send it in the mail. Just because it's not the 1800s anymore doesn't mean we still can't send love letters. It's very romantic. 4. Keep jealousy in check. Part of going to college is meeting new people and making new friends. Sometimes it can be hard to think about how your partner is having new experiences without you. However, you should treat this as a positive rather than a negative thing. Your partner increasing their social circle can lead to growth both for them and for your relationship. It is something that should be embraced rather than avoided. 5. Encourage independence. While you and your partner should remain close, you should not smother each other with constant messages. This can lead to the relationship feeling too restrictive. Allow your partner to focus on their new friends, schoolwork, or any other priorities that they may have. There is a fine line between being supportive and overbearing. 6. You need to make a serious consideration into thinking about how committed you are to this individual and if you are ready to proceed on with this relationship. Long distance is not going to be easy, but the most fulfilling things in life rarely are. 7. Set an end date for long distance. By having an end date, it will be easier for both parties to see the end and remain committed. Being long distance can be great for a period, However, you both will need to discuss how you'll eventually end up living in the same place again. This will help provide a set of steps that can be followed in order to achieve your goals. Going through a long-distance relationship will not be easy. However, by following the steps listed above, you may find it not to be as hard as it originally seemed. Thank you for listening, and good luck to all the lovers out there.
College can be difficult, but for some students, financial issues can make things impossible. The High program at Wayne State University provides critical funds to students who are having major issues with basic needs like tuition, books, housing, and food. It's amazing, but just a few hundred dollars at the right time can save a student from dropping out or from being homeless. Students should not have to decide between basic life needs and finishing their education. The High program has connected hundreds of students with these basic needs and provided a light at the end of the tunnel for what amounts to the most difficult period of their young lives. If you would like to help, donations of any amount are welcome, and you can find all our information on highprogram.wayne.edu or at WSU High program.